So what I see happening a lot within the spiritual entrepreneurship community, especially with energy healers, is that they do not hold their own wellness as sacred. Oftentimes I see that. So what I see happening a lot within the spiritual entrepreneurship community, especially with energy healers, is that they do not hold their own wellness as sacred. Oftentimes I see them way over giving, um, self-sacrificing, really poor boundaries, um, spreading themselves way too thin. And at the end of the day, this leaves them very depleted, very burned out, oftentimes sick themselves, and sometimes with very debilitating illnesses. And on top of that, they're undercharging because they're not valuing their time, they're not valuing their worth, they're not valuing their own sacred space. So they don't charge accordingly either as, as in accordance with someone that really would value their time. And so on top of that, they're overgiving at, um, and undercharging at the same time, which leads them not only depleted, but also broke. And this is the starving healer syndrome that I refer to as. And it's for some reason, um, there's a lot of energy healers that are resistant to receiving, that there are huge, huge blocks to receiving. And this was the message that wanted to come through today, that in order for you to fully build a soul aligned business that is thriving, that supports you on your mission and allows you to continue to exponentially help as many people on the planet as possible, because I know that's your goal if you're resonating with my teachings. In order to do that, you have to show up and allow yourself to receive and be abundantly supported. And in order to do that, you have to honor your own wellness. You have to honor your own freedom, your own uh, time off, your own sacred space. It is so imperative that you make your own sense of wellness a priority in your wellness business otherwise it doesn't work and you are completely off mission i do not believe that you're here to be self-sacrificing depleted and sick in order to fulfill your soul's mission and be a spiritual healer an energy healer or a medical intuitive or whatever whatever your specialty is you are not being asked to serve from an empty cup God, divine, universe, whatever you want to refer to it as, is not asking you to serve from an empty cup. You are serving from an empty cup because you are not addressing the patterns that are running underneath your beliefs, you know, under, underneath the radar, which would identify patterns of belief and thought patterns and energetic, you know, even um, resistance to receiving. And this is why this is a huge part of um, my program, Sacred Leader Academy, a huge part of that is healing the feminine energy and coming into alignment with the feminine energy, not and the masculine energy. They have to be um, both working in synergy together, right? You have to be able to take action and make moves, take inspired action and make moves on your business, but you also have to be open to receive not only the guidance and the wisdom and and the and the energy that's coming to you and through you as a channel, but also the other end of, of the stick when you're making an impact in the world, which is to receive the abundance and the prosperity and everything that comes to you as well. And if you're not allowing that, then there's some actual healing work that needs to be done. And this is what, this is what I'm so passionate about. This is what I refer to as starving healer syndrome. And it really is an epidemic within the spiritual healing community. And right now you are being called, if you're watching this and this is resonating with you, you are being called to step forward into your mission work and your, and your soul's purpose in a big way. And you cannot do that from an empty cup. And so what I'm passionate about is really helping all of the light workers, all the spiritual healers, all of the energy healers 
to rise up, step into their own power, own their worth, own their gift, own their own freedom and their own healing sacred space so that they can show up abundantly to serve other others. Otherwise, this is off mission. And I think you can see how much healing work there is to do. You are being called to thrive, not survive. We've, you've done that for long enough. Now it's time to thrive. And so if this is resonating with you, I welcome you to take my Soul Line Success Masterclass that you can find below this video, wherever you happen to be watching it. And after you watch the masterclass, if that resonates with you on a core level, you'll have the opportunity to book a strategy session with me where we can hop on an hour complimentary call where I can help you map out a blueprint for your business that completely sustains you, supports you in your mission work and your lifestyle goals at the same time. So. If that interests you, I'd love um, to see you inside the masterclass and I look forward to seeing you on another episode very soon. Namaste.